guys, welcome to my video. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how you guys can be better at Roblox Arsenal. I know a lot of people struggling to win games and kill people. That's why I am making this video. I'm gonna try to give you guys as much as info as I can. Then you guys can use it in your game. And I hope you guys gonna win a lot of games with that and kill a lot of people. Uh, I have 12 steps and I don't want to steal a lot of time of you. So I might just start and let's yeah let's begin. Okay, first step is use Roblox FPS unlocker if you're getting 60 FPS constantly. Right now at the right top corner you see my FPS is 60. That means I should use it because my FPS want to go higher than 60. If you pardon uh, if you um, have like 20 FPS, 40 FPS. Your first step is going to be boosting your FPS before you try FPS unlock. Okay. Uh, all you need to do is download the program that I gave you in the description. Uh, put on desktop, uh, open Roblox uh, Arsenal, and then run the program. Wait two seconds, then you'll see uh, your FPS going higher. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna open my FPS unlocker quickly. Like. Boom. You see FPS is 6 right now. And boom, 140. That's why you need to use it. It's so important if you try to play really good. Okay, step 2 is for people who get in low FPS in the game. I'm gonna try to give like 2 steps where you guys can boost your FPS. The first thing is, of course, robot settings. Put your uh, graphics all the way back to best performance but this is kind of um, annoying for example if there's people all the way back you see if you have a sniper you can't even see there I mean I don't know maybe you see with sniper but like if you want to headshot someone from this distance to uh, that distance with pistol you can because you don't see it. but you can change depends on the map for example this map is bigger than normal so you can just put it automatic to see everywhere uh, and if you play in um, a sand town or something like that just put in the zero then you're good to go you're gonna get higher FPS this is like basic and I'm gonna show you guys the next step is more like um, for people who really want to be good at the game like if you just play for fun and you just care about the textures you don't need to bother just skip to the next step okay we are on the desktop right now you close the roblox if it's open in background and then go to search bar type roblox player then press open file location again roblox player right click open file location then we're gonna press platform content, PC, and textures. In here, we're gonna only keep sky and water. So just delete the rest of them. Slate, wood, and wood planks. So this will uh, boost your FPS, uh, 20 FPS or 10 FPS. It's gonna boost. If you care about texture, then don't delete any of them and play the game with low FPS. What can I say? So you guys see I'm getting 240 FPS constantly after making the settings. So the graphics is gone, the textures I mean. Graphics quality is like all the way low. If I put it all the way up, the max FPS I'm getting like uh, 150, 60. And let's include uh, 10 people in this game. I'm gonna pretty much get like 100 FPS or 120 FPS. So just play in the low and you're good to go. Okay, the next thing is your sensitivity settings. In this tip, uh, I can't say a lot of things because it depends on your playstyle. But I can give couple information about how you can find your best sensitivity. So if you play, let's say, in high sensitivity like this, you're gonna track people. Like the people, is, the guy is literally going up here. He don't even see you. You're gonna track him, but you're gonna like your mouse gonna be up, down. You, you can't control it. If you get used to it, and if you're really comfortable with that. If you really like it, just keep it, okay? Don't mind. If you can't control your mouse, then that means you should downgrade it, like downgrade four or three step, then try again. And if it's still so high and so hard to control, just downgrade a lot of step and try it again. As I know, a lot of FPS players play at one and below for one. If you play higher than one, it's gonna affect your playstyle, I think, is gonna hurt your hands and arm as well. 
uh, I am playing in the low and it's really helping me and I am really happy with that because it's helping me to flick shot easily, it's helping me to track people easily, it also helping me to 360. Like 360 is can, can, kind of hard and it's a really hard thing to do anyways. Um, so you can try mine sensitivity, okay? And if you think that's too slow, you can put one more or two more and try again. And if you think it's good, keep it for one week. Then after one week, you're gonna get used to it and you're gonna be happy with that. If you still think it's not really good, then make it higher or lower. So that's why I, that's my tips for sensitivity. Find your best sensitivity to play, and it's gonna help you a lot. 90% um, of the game is uh, aim, you know, or 75%. And other uh, things is just movement. Okay, the next step is list and footsteps. And maybe a lot of you got surprised because you guys didn't know there's a footsteps in this game, but there is. So if I put my volume all the way up, <coughs> listen to this. And if I go to some different objects, like here. See, this is different. So, why is this important? Because, uh, let's put this here back, because it's annoying me. Um, whenever someone walks here, you can hear that. And if you kill someone here, okay, and you heard someone was coming here, and you can come back and kill him. If you if your volume was all the way down and you can even hear the footsteps, you're gonna just go like this, right? And the guy is gonna come and I kill you. Bam. Uh, I don't suggest you guys use uh, volume all the way up in public because a lot of people shooting at the same time, it can hurt your ears. So use like here or like that. But if you do one versus one, uh, you can just go full volume if you want to. If you put here, <coughs> And let's say you play one versus one, and you are just checking people. And he spawns here, right? Let's say. And he made sounds, and you heard him, and you know. And let's say there's a vault, and there's also a vault. And the only way he can go out is here. And you're just gonna wait here, and when he comes out, you're gonna kill him. And why is this important? Because you have like potential to kill him before he sees you. That's why. Because you heard him, you know where he is, and bam. Is that so it's important but if you don't care you just put your volume all the way down and open music in background and play like that that's what I do mostly so yeah okay the next step is move with your knife okay so why is this so important because this is gun game and you should use your time perfectly if you go with your gun from spawn you're losing time because your teammate's gonna be already here with knife and you're gonna take cover and you're gonna kill people and you came here with your gun and tried to kill people but you don't see anyone because your teammates killed, already killed the people so you're just gonna wander around and you're just gonna check people then you can just start slowly so people already like killed 5 people and you still 0 <laughs> sucks and if, especially if you have a really bad weapon you should do it because you can even change your gun with assist. So you just go with your knife and change your gun whenever you need. I mean, if you have a really bad gun and if you have a really bad aim, you just need to improve that as well. But play the game, you're gonna improve that eventually. If you stuck at the gun, just try to make damage as much as you can. So eventually, some of your teammates gonna kill him and you're gonna change your gun. And uh, that's what's important. Knife makes you faster, that's what I mean actually. Uh, gun slows you down, uh, knife uh, makes you faster, and some weapons, and some weapons like heavy sniper or a machine gun, slows you down a lot. 